so sometime around my sophomore and junior year, I started realizing how important it was for me to feel like I was contributing to the, the kingdom of God. How important it was for me to feel like I was doing what God wanted me to do, that I was God's servant and that I was finding my calling, essentially. Now, um, this was tricky because I was in between churches. I was, I was going to school at one place and going to one church, and I would go home and go to another church. So this really made it tricky for me to get involved in ministry. And, and that was really, um, you know, heart-wrenching for me. But I still tried to be involved as I could be. I was still doing the, the Bible study group on campus, which was growing uh, with, with various other people. I was... Um, I did praise singing, which is singing in front of the church with the group, you know, the, the worship songs. I, uh, I, did, I helped out with Sunday school uh, sometimes, things like that. But I still felt like I, I, didn't, I didn't know exactly what God's place for me was uh, when, I, when I was going to graduate school. And, and this was something that really bothered me. Now, I felt like I had a, a personal relationship with God. I don't know if I've mentioned that so much during this series, but I felt like I could pray to God and talk with God and, and actually get an idea of what God wanted me to do. Not that I ever audibly heard God. I never like heard a booming voice from the sky, but you know, I felt like I could pray to God and, and get a, a feeling or a sense or like a feel like God could put words in my, in my mind or on my heart or whatever you want to call it that would explain to me, like give, clarify where I was supposed to go, you know, help me find a direction, help me uh, do what I needed to do. And, and I thought that, you know, every person was unique and every person who was supposed to give to God's kingdom would, would have something, you know, s specific to give. And so I was always trying to, to not just do ministries for the sake of doing ministries, but really uh, ask God where he wanted me to be. Try to, to seek God in prayer and, and ask him, you know, what ministry would I be most effective in? What would I be most useful in? I don't want to do something, um, what the church would call it, uh, from the flesh. I don't want to do something just that I want to do, what, what this body, you know, the flesh, wants to do. But I want to do what the Spirit you know, God wants me to do. Uh, one thing that I felt in, in pr when I was praying uh, was originally I was going to school to be an elementary teacher. I really prayed about it and I had always had a passion for psychology and uh, mental health. Always had a passion for it um, and I felt like, oh, I just don't want to go that long to get a degree and everybody told me I'd be better at elementary ed, but I really, I felt like I asked God, like, what should I do? And I felt like God encouraged me to do the, the psychology degree. So I changed that and that was something I felt like I heard from God. I decided that you know teaching Sunday school really wasn't for me, helping out with Sunday school wasn't for me. Uh, but I did love to sing. I loved that. So anything where I could do that, I was in the choir, uh, praise singing, anything uh, that involved me singing, uh, I love to do. I also felt like I had a, a passion for worship. I was... <laughs> It's a little embarrassing to talk about now. I was a very vocal, maybe what you think of when you think of a Pentecostal. Um, I was very, you know, lots of speaking in tongues, lots of bouncing, lots of dancing, lots of running around. I was a very loud worshiper. I didn't always speak in tongues when I was worshiping. Sometimes I'd speak in English. Um, but I sang really loud and I, I was a very expressive, yes, I was a very expressive worshiper. But my biggest passion I felt was when I went to my home church, uh, was with the youth group. I really felt, um, a, a passion for that age group, you know, the, the 12 to like 18 crowd. I felt like I had a personality that would work well. I maybe wasn't so stuffy that I, I couldn't identify with them, but I also felt like I could be a good example. I had siblings their age. You know, I, I had worked with, with kids a lot. Um, I, was, I was good with kids that age. Um, even though I was really good with little, little kids, I didn't feel like I could have any sort of intellectual conversation with them. Like, I liked kids a lot, but I felt like I wanted to, to share my, my spiritual insight in, in some ways. I felt like I had a spiritual maturity that uh, could be shared, but without being a, um, 
without being arrogant about it or, or something like that. And I really, every time I was with that group, I really felt like that's that could could be my place. So I really, um, when I prayed about it, I felt really strongly. I would, I would felt like I would talk to God about it, and I felt like God would encourage me in this. Uh, you know, I feel like God was was in agreement that this would, would be a good uh, fit for me. These things were always really important to me because I felt like I felt like I had a relationship with God, and I felt like this relationship with God was really important to me. So I wanted to serve God the best I possibly could. I wanted to do. Uh, spend as much time with him as possible. I wanted to. I didn't even want to work. I wanted to do a job that was in the church. I wanted to get paid to live at the church. I mean, that's how. I, that's how um, extreme I felt about it. Um, I, I became increasingly more uncomfortable when I had to do things outside of church because I felt like I was only really comfortable when I was. I was at church and doing uh, God's work. So. Um, you know, I, I could fake the comfort, but a lot of times I, I didn't feel it. I really felt like I had such a passion for it that it, it like, bothered me when I couldn't let it out. It, it, it felt very pent up a lot of times because I felt like I couldn't really uh, do as much as I really wanted to. And I felt trapped for that reason. And, and it felt like the, the God inside me, the uh, the Holy Spirit living inside me was like, I want to do more. And, and I felt trapped by my situation that I couldn't do more at the time. Serving God and doing working in His kingdom uh, at His church was something that was important. And I was striving to do that as, as much as I possibly could.